In diluting a solution, the total number of moles of solute in solution does not change. The total number of moles of solute remains the same upon dilution. So the equation is M1 times B1 equals M2 times B2. This still on the left side is before dilution and after the equality sign is after dilution. So M1 and B1 are the molarity and volume of the initial solution. M2, B2 are the molarity and volume of the diluted solution. So the volume of solvent, usually water, added to dilute the initial solution is equal to V2 minus V1. Let's have a problem one here. How many milliliter of 3 molar calcium sulfate solution must be diluted with water to prepare 200 milliliter of 0.6 molar calcium sulfate? So the problem means that this amount of water will be added to this volume of this concentration. After adding that amount of water, the resulting solution is 200 milliliter of 0.6 molar calcium sulfate. So what are the information? The initial molar concentration, which is 3 molar calcium sulfate. The volume is the one to be determined. And the molarity or the M2 after dilution is 0.6 molar. And the volume after adding water or after dilution is 200 milliliter. So again, the equation is M1 times B1 equals M2 times B2. So since B1 is unknown, then the equation is M2 times B2 divided by M1. So simply substitute the given into the equation. Cancel molarity, cancel molarity. Okay, multiply 120 ml divided by 3 gives you 40 milliliter. So meaning that 40 milliliter of the initial solution must be diluted with how many ml of water? 160 ml of water to increase the volume to 200 milliliter. Or add 160 ml of water to 40 ml of initial solution, which is 3 molar calcium sulfate. And the resulting solution is, after dilution, is 200 milliliter of 0.6 molar calcium sulfate. Problem 2. 80 ml of a stock solution of sodium hydroxide is diluted with water. So meaning, water will be added to this 80 ml of stock solution. And after adding that water, the volume now becomes 400 ml and the concentration is 0 0.08 molar NaO8 solution. So calculate the molarity of the stock solution or the M1. So this is the information. This is unknown. This is the molarity after dilution. And this is the volume after dilution. And the initial volume is 80 ml. So knowing that this is the equation, M1 is the unknown. So simply substitute 0 0.08 molar times 400 milliliter divided by 80 milliliter. So cancel milliliter, multiply 0 0.08 times 400 is 32 molar divided by 80. The answer is 0.4 molar. So what does it mean? This means that 80 ml of the initial concentration, which is 0.4 molar, is diluted with 320 ml of water to increase the volume to 400 milliliter. Or add 320 ml of water to 80 ml of the initial concentration, 
and the resulting solution is 400 ml and the problem 3 18 milliliter of 0.4 molar NaOH solution is diluted with 32 ml of water so meaning this amount of water is added to 18 ml of 0.4 molar NaOH and after adding that you, the problem is asking what is the concentration or what is the M2? So what are the information? The M1, M2 is not given. And the initial volume is given. Now the final volume can be calculated because B2 is equal to the initial volume plus the amount of water to dilute the solution so it is equal to 50 milliliter so, so using the equation again we have m2 is equal to m1 times b1 divided by v2 substitute the values and cancel milliliter so 0.4 times 18 is 7.2 molar Oh, this has been cancelled, so there should be no more ml here. So, 7.2 molar divided by 50 gives 0 0.14, 0 0.144 molarity. So, what is the meaning? Add 32 ml of water to 18 ml of 0 0.4 molar NaOH, and the resulting solution is 50 ml, and the concentration is 0 0.144 molar. Problem 4. 15 ml of, point of 10 molar HCl solution is diluted with water. So again, water is added to 15 ml of this initial concentration. So to prepare 2.5 molar HCl solution. So what is the final volume of this solution? So take note, the volume of water is not given, right? Therefore, we can calculate the V2 using the equation. So substitute the values, cancel molar. So 10 times 15 will give you 150 divided by 2.5, 60 milliliter. So V2 is 60 milliliter. So if you will be asked how many ml of water was added, so simply you subtract 15 ml, the initial volume, from 60 ml. So that means you add 45 ml of water to 15 ml of initial concentration, which is 10 molar, and the resulting solution after adding water is 60 milliliter, and the concentration of 60 milliliter is 2.5 molar HCl solution.